Warning! The following video contains unscientific language that may not be appropriate for all ears. Hey Internet, Bill from Bill Loud and Science here, and today I thought we'd try something a little bit different. Growing up, I would watch these awesome science edutainers on TV, and right before every episode, they always had one of my least favorite phrases, which was, don't try this at home. As I got older, as I've worked with explosions and zorches and zaps and ooh, ooh, nah, ooh, nah, ooh, nah. <laughs> I've realized that those warnings are there for a reason. So today I thought we would watch a roundup of people who didn't take that advice to heart and ended up with some spectacular home science fails. Fail. Fire is one of the most dangerous things science edutainers work with, and that's because no matter how many precautions you take, what will go wrong will be the thing that you weren't expecting, the thing that you weren't anticipating, as we're about to learn in our first video from channel Audrey and Liz. This video was posted in August 2014, and I love the video description. I tried to do something my science teacher taught me, but I caught my tablecloth on fire. Oops. So we're going to watch as Audrey and Liz, we're not sure which one it is, attempts a classic demonstration where you dip a dollar bill into a fuel and then you light it on fire. And after a few seconds, you can douse the bill and it will still be whole. There won't be any scorch marks on it. But the temperature of that fire never gets hot enough to actually burn the cellulose. So after dousing the fire, the dollar bill is still intact and everyone applauds. Don't try this at home unless you know what you're doing. Let's see it. What I'm going to do is I have two forks just so I can hold this dollar in place and I'm going to light this dollar on fire but still keep it intact. So what you do, actually don't try this at home unless you know what you're doing. This kind of self-awareness is something we're going to see again and again both in this video and the rest. So, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the, I'm going to dip the dollar into the alcohol. Yes, the dollar is completely wet and then I'm going to light a flame there we go and now the dollar bill is on fire but a drop of flaming fuel has dropped into her container and now all of that fuel is ignited too. I've had exactly this happen to me on stage doing this very demonstration. The important thing is what you do next and I'll give you a hint. Don't do this. Holy crap. What do I do? Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Keith, Keith. So she safely douses the fire in the dollar bill, but instead of dousing the fire in the container, she tries to put it out with water. All that's doing is making the level of liquid in the container rise, and it's actually spilling flaming fuel all over the tablecloth. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh my God! Crap, 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 crap. Again, still she doesn't cover it. Instead, she pours it all over the table and the video suddenly ends. Unfortunately, we don't get to see the fate of that poor tablecloth. Hopefully, given the fact that she posted it, means that everything turned out all right. But you can see the potential for a lot of physical harm or property damage. People who perform on stage with fire, whether they're juggling fire, breathing fire, or doing science and making explosions, receive hours of training in fire safety. So the best advice in this case probably came from Audrey or Liz themselves. Don't try it. Our next home science fail comes to us from the world of electricity. Electricity is unique because not only can it cause physical harm and property damage, it can also cause instant death. Instant. Nobody demonstrates that fact better than Mehdi Sadaidar on the YouTube channel Electro Boom. Boom. 
1.55 million subscribers and 140 videos, Mehdi Sadaidar walks us through all kinds of electronics-based experiments. In the clip we're going to watch, he's designed a seat heater that's basically wires stripped bare and hot glued to a chair and then plugged into the wall. A perfect demonstration of how not to experiment with electricity. Let's check it out. I have a great and unique idea, which is turning your wooden or plastic seat into a heated seat so your fragile buttocks can rest in peace. All we need is a heating element, which I'll extract from this broken hair dryer as these wires. So here we are, I hot glued these wires to my seat with their end connected to a cable where I can just plug into the wall. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, there we are. Where the f is it? The whole seat is melted. Oh, sh oh, and then his pants are on fire. Literally, pants on fire. In hindsight, mounting a heating element with hot glue is a pretty dumb idea because the glue can melt and stick somewhere else. And also evidently, sitting on super hot live wires is a terrible, terrible idea, as my butt can confirm. So I think his clip speaks for itself. Electricity is not something you should be playing with. It can cause physical harm, it can cause property damage, and even instant death. <laughs> So leave the electronics to the professionals, and if you're going to use it at home, make sure that you follow the directions exactly and follow all safety warnings. Our last home science fail of the day comes from a topic that most people might not think about as being dangerous, and that is pressure and compression. Anytime that you try to squeeze a liquid or a gas, you're going to create pressure. That is a force that's pushing back out. And that force, if it can't find a release, can be catastrophic. That's why pressure can be so dangerous. It doesn't limit itself to a small area. If something gives in to the forces of pressure, you're going to get an explosion. So our final video today is one of my favorites on the internet. It comes to us from a user on YouTube, Nothing in Waldorf. It was posted in January 2013, and the description reads this. Boredom, acetylene and oxygen, a potato gun, and a shift knob. They're going to attempt to build and fire a potato gun or a potato cannon where you basically take a tube, you seal one end, you put in a little bit of gaseous fuel, and then you stick a potato in the other end. You light the fuel inside the tube on fire, that gas expands rapidly and it forces the potato out. And usually it's really loud, it fires really far. If the potato comes out, if it doesn't, that gas will keep building and building and, well, I think you can guess what's gonna happen. Let's check it out. And this is how stupidity really hurts people. All right, go. So there you have some more of that great self-awareness. Go. Fire in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it blows up all over his face. The potato cannon explodes, I'm sure deafening him for days, if not causing permanent hearing damage. <laughs> They do show the aftermath of that catastrophe in the video. I'm gonna let you go to YouTube and watch it. The link will be down below. Uh, word of warning, there is blood and a lot of cursing, as you can imagine. So there you have it, some of my favorite home science fails. I hope that it showed us that if you're going to try it at home, please make sure to observe all safety precautions and make sure you're working with someone who knows what they're doing. My name is Bill from Bill Loudon Science. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that other YouTube stuff. I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you for hanging out with me. See you next time.